Hey everyone, welcome to Soap Trend. We hope that everybody is doing well. We have some exciting news to share with you all in today's video. And that's about our favorite TV series Heartland. In this episode, we present you with a review of Heartland Season 15 Episode 10, Leaving a Legacy. This is the last episode of Heartland Season 15. So do watch this video till the end to know everything. The episode began with Lou pondering her future by the lake and Amy enticing her to go on a trail ride with her. During their conversation, Lou admitted that she still doesn't know what to do when it comes to Peter. And ever since her camping trip with Katie in the previous episode, Lou is more confused than ever as to what she should do. During their camping trip, Katie admitted that she likes her life just the way it is. Then Amy asked Lou what she would do if she lost Peter. Lou really thought about what she would feel if she lost Peter. But then Lou looked at her watch and rushed to work. At the office, Lou was still pacing around, not knowing what to do when it comes to Peter. That night, Katie helped Lou make a decision. After dinner, Katie went to talk to Lou about what she said at their camping trip about her parents. And Katie admitted that it was wrong for her to say that she is fine with the way things are right now. Because the truth is she saw her parents at Tim's wedding and was scared to get her hopes up about them getting back together. After this, Lou decides what she wants to do. So at the office, she tried calling Peter. It turned out that Peter was on a business trip to Paris, France. Peter didn't tell Lou about the trip upsetting her and suddenly all her insecurities from their first go around about Peter always being away on business trips came rushing back. So Lou spiraled out of control and stormed out of her office. Luckily, Rick was there for his friend. He decided to take matters into his own hands. Rick called Peter and told him that Peter needed to get home as soon as possible. So Peter jumped on the first flight back to Canada. When Peter rushed to Lou's office to find out what had happened and why he needed to come home so urgently, Rick explained to Peter that he thought that they needed someone to help put things in motion. That frustrated Peter to no end. But he didn't have time to dwell on it because Lou chose that moment to walk in. Lou was surprised to see Peter there. She asked Peter to go on a trail ride with her. And during that ride, Lou told Peter what she had decided. Lou had realized that she wants to be with Peter. So the two celebrated their reunion with a kiss. And after they went to tell Katie that they are getting back together, Katie was happy with the news. And the three made a plan to take a trip to Florida to tell Georgie the good news. In this episode, we also saw Jessica return to Heartland from her New York trip. Tim was happy to have his wife back home. But things weren't quite back to normal as Tim started suspecting that Jessica is hiding something from him. First, he didn't really eat anything at dinner and turned in early under the pretext of being exhausted from her flight. And then she ignored a call from someone saying that it's a wrong number. So when the number called again, Tim picked up and was surprised to hear that it's Jessica's doctor calling from New York. While Jessica was in New York, the doctor's office had called and left multiple messages but Jessica hadn't answered any of them. So the doctor told Tim that Jessica should make an appointment with Dr. Wilson in Calgary. Tim wanted to know what's going on and why Jessica didn't go to her doctor's appointment. That's when Jessica broke down and told Tim everything. When she was in New York, the doctor had said that if she doesn't hear from him then everything's okay. However, the doctor's office did leave a message to call the day before she left New York. So Jessica got scared that everything was not fine and didn't return the call. Tim consoled Jessica when she thought that things were bad and also promised that they will get through this together. So they made the appointment with the doctor in Calgary and Tim was right there with Jessica when the call came in from Dr. Wilson. Luckily, Jessica didn't need to be worried. Her cancer hadn't returned as he was in the clear. This was also a big episode for Lisa who was gearing up to enter her new horse Platinum Bow in the Kentucky Derby. After all, winning such a huge race would surely put the horse and Lisa's business on the map. Everything was going great. 
The horse was ready. Lisa had an excellent jockey, Eddie who worked well with Platinum Bo, as well as a great horse trainer Chuck. Everything pointed to the horse winning the race. However, then Chuck asked the jockey to exercise the horse that Lisa had recently bought. But the horse hadn't been proven. So when a plastic bag flew over in front of the horse while Eddie was racing it at full speed, the horse spooked and the jockey fell breaking his foot. Lisa already being wound up about the big race was beside herself now. She had to find a new jockey only days before leaving for Kentucky. So things weren't looking good. Jack tried to comfort her, especially during her outburst at dinner about things going too well and therefore that something bad was bound to happen. But Lisa wouldn't have it, and it didn't help that she had a hard time finding another jockey who worked as well with Platinum Bo as Eddie did. Eddie came to watch Lisa and Chuck test other jockeys, and he suggested they give his cousin Carlos a chance. Carlos already had a bond with Platinum Bo since he exercises the horse, and Carlos was also a jockey back home in Buenos Aires. Lisa agreed to Carlos riding Platinum Bo at the Kentucky Derby. The next day, Lisa and her team were off to Kentucky. On the day of the big race, Jack, Amy, Lindy, and Katie and Lou gathered around the TV to see how Platinum Bo does. And everyone, including Lisa, down in Kentucky, were delighted when Platinum Bo won the race. It was so great to see Lisa succeed after going through so much trouble due to Platinum Bo. And now it seems that Lisa's as well as Jack's expanding cattle business really shows that things are only getting better for them. So this much for today's video. We hope you liked it. We will deliver more news of Heartland as it comes in. We will have all the burning Heartland spoilers, updates and news you are looking for. So visit us regularly. Thank you for checking this video out. We will see each other very soon with another video. If you like this video, give us a like and subscribe to our channel for new videos every day. If you have anything to say, do let us know in the comment section below. We'll make sure to reply to your comments.